Before you can use AutoCAD, you have to install it on your computer or workstation. Download it right from Autodesk's website. Now there are several installation tools and utilities that you can use and you can create a deployment. These are tools that will help you to create an installation file that you can use over and over again so you don't have to do all these same steps. Plus it will allow you to preset some of the settings. Now that's a lot more advanced than what we really want to do here. For the purpose of this training video, the 30 day trial will be more than enough time to go through the whole thing. And this will give you a chance to try out AutoCAD 2014 before you buy it. But if you have purchased it, these instructions will work just as well. One thing you might want to do before you get started is click on the systems requirements. That will bring you to Autodesk's webpage and will tell you what you need hardware wise for your computer to run AutoCAD 2014. Click on the install button when you're ready to install and follow the instructions. I'm here in the United States, so that's my selection. You pick wherever it is that you live. Read this license agreement and click on I accept if you want to install it. Click on the next button. Follow the on-screen instructions. Now again, I'm English. This is going to be a standalone license type. It's not a network license type. The difference between a standalone and a network license type, a network license type is obviously for use on a network and it shares out the license so that one person on the network can open it up, close it down, then somebody else can open it up. Now standalone means it's installed on one particular machine and that machine only. If you've purchased AutoCAD, then enter in your serial number and product key here. Otherwise, click this button and you'll be able to use AutoCAD for 30 calendar days, starting on the first day when you install it. Even once that 30 days is up, you can still go in and enter in your product information. You just won't be able to use it once it's finished. Once you've entered in your product key or clicked on the use the 30 day trial, it will bring you right here. Now there are two main programs to install. One is the Autodesk AutoCAD 2014. That's your main program. And then there's another add on called Autodesk Recap. You don't have to install this and we're not really going to get into it in this training video. So go to the Autodesk AutoCAD 2014 button here, click on this down arrow to configure your settings. There are a couple things on here you're going to want to add and make sure both of these are selected, the Exchange App Manager and the Exchange Featured Apps plugin. Now for your installation type, I suggest you click Custom and pick this box here. So they have a green check mark and install them. When we're done, just click on this button that'll pop that back up. Once this is all set, Click the install button. So AutoCAD 2014 has been fully installed. Just click finish. And if it asks you to reboot your machine, go right ahead. Then once it starts back up, you can go to your desktop for your icon or go to your start button and run AutoCAD.